Galatians 6, 9 says, and let us not grow weary of doing good for in due season, we will reap if we do not give up. Welcome to the show. This is Strength for Today's Man, Volume 127. Let's talk about the mouse in the room, shall we? Being consistent. If we look up the word consistent in the Cambridge Dictionary, you'll find that it defines consistent as always behaving or happening in a similar, especially positive way. Okay, let me give you an example. There has been a consistent improvement in his or her attitude. His or her work is sometimes good, but the problem is he or she is not consistent. Does that just find you? Are you the person that is consistently being inconsistent? Do you find that trouble seems to be lurking at your desk, in your car, in your home, in your church, in your office, wherever you are? Well, that trouble has a name and it's called inconsistency. It does not like you being on track and heading in a positive direction. It will let you start out good for a little while, but it's lying and waiting for the chance to be right back in your space. Inconsistency has several names and faces, and they all are familiar to you. That's why it's easy to conform to them when they want you to do something that you know you shouldn't do. Being consistent takes work. It takes time to build up a good rhythm of being consistent and positive. People that are inconsistent want company. Why should they be the only ones not making enough money? Why should they be the only ones not making gold? Why should they be the only one getting written up? They want company. That's why when they see you making money, making gold, and not getting written up, they show up in your space. Beware of those pretending to be your friend. They are Mr. and Mrs. Inconsistency. You know them by their negativity. They're known all over the world. It's their business to be in somebody else's business. You know them. They're always lurking around your desk, always talking about somebody else. They come at you with, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? You can do that later. You have plenty of time. Check this out. And if you don't stop them right there in their tracks with positive, consistent behavior, you will be sucked right into their non-productive, negative, inconsistent life bound for nowhere. Keep being consistent in the things that bring you joy and happiness, whether in the workplace, on the campus, in the home, or even in the ministry. Consistency has a place everywhere. Work at being different, even if that means going alone. At least you'll be making more money, making gold, and most importantly, if you're on the job, you won't be getting written up. Be consistent, like this show, and if you haven't as of yet, subscribe to the show, and then share it with someone else. Don't keep it to yourself, share the wealth. I'll see you on the next show. Be blessed.